Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Coach Matt, EliteThrowsCoaching.com. Thank you guys so much for checking out the channel. Uh, before we get started, I wanted to let everybody know that our overnight track and field camp, two camps that are happening out at Allegheny College. First camp, July 6th through the 9th. Second camp, right after that, July 10th through the 13th. Registration is open. I'm gonna put a card right up there in the corner. Click on that card if you want to get signed up. Registration, it's an early bird discount for the entire month of February. You save about 50 bucks on the camp, about 10% off. Please make sure to go and check that out and get signed up. All right, so we have here in front of me kind of a mystery box, and I'll tell you why. I did a shot put review the other day of the Champro 12 pound cast iron shot. Came in, reviewed it, everything looked good. The same day that I ordered that 12 pound shot, I ordered a 16 pound shot as well. Now this is not Champro, this is a different brand, but it was the least expensive 16 pound shot that I could find on Amazon that looked really good. Now let me tell you why this looked really good and why this is kind of a mystery shot put, okay? So let me show you the picture. This comes from, um, Crown Sporting Goods. So I'll show you the picture. Crown Sporting Goods, and it is a 16 pound shot put. Now, I just showed you that picture. It is considered a 16 pound black cast iron weight, 7.26 kilogram, great for shot put, outdoor track and field equipment, blah, 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 blah. The picture they show here is not a cast iron ball. This looks like a turned iron ball. The way you can tell, it's tough to see, but here's the second picture. Right on top of that picture, you can see that little opening area, that little machined opening where you can take a spanner wrench and open up the top if you wanted to. That's how they get the weight within precise measurements. The third picture, Somebody holding the shot, it is completely shiny. It is, you can see the reflection of the two lights that they were used to get the picture. And then the third, I'm sorry, the fourth picture, you can see very clearly, there's three shots at the top. There's an eight pound, a 9.9, and a 12 pound. And those are all cast iron. You can see those at the top. You can definitely tell that they're cast iron, they're lumpy, they're bumpy, they look a little bit kind of rough. You can see one of them, I think it's the one all the way on the left, looks like it has some type of filler to smooth it out on one side. But if you look at the bottom, there's a six pound, a four kilo, and a 16. And those, you can see it has basically that cap on the top, that little small circular cap that you can unscrew to sprinkle in a little bit of weight or take out a little bit of weight if it's a little too heavy or a little too light. You can see it right here. So you can see that right there, that yellow, I'm sorry, the black ball all the way on the bottom right, that is the 16 pound cast iron, but it looks like a turned iron or a turned steel. The last picture shows it's 128 millimeters. So again, 128 millimeter is a typical size for a turned iron, not a cast iron. So that's why this is kind of like a little mystery box. And again, the price on it, guys, $46.99 with free prime shipping. Now, again, I had to pay 7% sales tax for, shipping, for getting it here in Rhode Island, but that's like half the price, the cheapest, turned iron shot that I could find was about 88 bucks and that was from everything track and field. If you wanted to get something like a 129 millimeter, you'd have to go with a turned steel, which again, more expensive material, is about 150 bucks, or a 129 millimeter stainless steel is about 220, 230 bucks. So we're talking a lot of money compared to a turned iron which is only a millimeter smaller at 47 bucks plus tax. So very curious to see what is in this box. If it is actually a turned iron, like it shows in the picture, 
that means we struck gold and we found a turned iron shot for like half price of what they go in the catalog companies? Or was it false advertising and what's sitting in this box is actually a regular cast iron ball because that's kind of what all the other pictures show. Half of them are cast iron, half of them look like turned iron and the price reflects that of a cast iron. So did we stumble upon something really, really awesome at a really cheap price or is it false advertising and I got duped and what they sent me was actually a cast iron shot? Okay, so first thing first is on Amazon it says Crown Sporting Goods, but this was actually shipped from something called eBrands, which is in Greenfield, Indiana, and it didn't ship in an Amazon box, so it looks like it was kind of outsourced and shipped. They use Amazon probably for their fulfillment and they ship directly. So let's open this up. I have not opened it up yet. Hopefully I don't cut my fingers open. Let's see. Come on, don't cut your fingers open. All right, let's see what we got. So it's a homemade box. Looks like they took a box and it's a box in a box. Ugh. Oh boy. All right, so uh, I hope I didn't get duped. All right, right off the bat, here we go. 7.2 kilogram cast iron shot put. Distributed by Bry Belly Holding Inc. Greenfield, Indiana, made in India. Okay, so this one is another shot made in India. It is, yeah, I mean, it just, I'll, I'll show you the, hopefully you guys can see that. I'll try to kind of get it to focus here a little bit, but hopefully you can see that. Very plain branding, nothing too crazy. All right, let's open this guy up and see if it is actually a turned iron or a cheap cast iron. Did I get duped or not? <laughs> I cannot believe it. Ugh. It's a turned iron. It is a turned iron ball. Unbelievable for 47 bucks or whatever it is. So you can see it's got the crown logo on there. It's a little different than the logo that is on the Amazon site. It's got the warning sticker. It's actually not a sticker. It's like painted on there. The warning before each use, make sure landing area is clear of people. Use only for its intended purpose. That's not a sticker, that's like painted on there. That's like, um, like I don't know if it's powder coat or what. Okay, smell test. Wow, this thing is actually very, very nice. And it is a turned iron ball. 7.26 kilo, 128 millimeter, stamped right on it, right there, you can see that stamped right on it and it is perfectly round. It is like automotive paint, extremely shiny, extremely smooth. You can see a little bit if you hold it in the right light. You can see like we talked about in the last video where they put this on a lathe and machined it so it was perfectly round. Now we're gonna do a few tests on this to make sure number one of the weight we're gonna do the smell test like we did in the last video. We're gonna take a look at the bag, see if any of the paint transferred onto it. And uh, we're also gonna shake test this because these do have a machining where it's hollow uh, on the inside. And there's usually a little bit of space where they can drill it out to make it perfect or sprinkle in a little bit of weight. Sometimes you can pick these things up and shake them and officials don't like to hear anything rattling around on the inside. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna smell test. We're gonna take a look at the bag, we're gonna weigh it, and then we're gonna shake it, and we're gonna see how good this shot actually is. Okay, so first things first, let's take a look at the bag. And the bag does not have any transfer of black paint in it. And it smells like just nothing. It barely has a smell to it. It doesn't have that nasty kind of paint smell. It doesn't have that really thick, kind of fumes, spray paint smell that you get when you open up certain shot puts. So it definitely passes the smell test. This is about as, as scentless, smellless, whatever the word is, as you can possibly get. So passes the smell test, does not stink, does not smell horrible, and 
The bag that it comes in did not have any paint on the inside, meaning none of the paint transferred off of this while it was in shipping. So paint is really good and it does not stink. All right, next we are going to weigh this and we are going to make sure that it is accurate. Now, how accurate should a turned iron shot be? Now, from my experience, again, like I said in the last video, a shot should not weigh exactly the weight that it's supposed to be. So if you have a 16 kilogram, I'm sorry, a 16 pound shot should not weigh 16.00. It should weigh like 16.05, 16.04, 16.08. These you can make very exact. If you make it 16 pounds on the button, what's gonna happen is over time, all of the paint is gonna chip off. Then it's gonna hit a rock, it's gonna accidentally drop in the circle, you're gonna accidentally roll it, and it's gonna go on asphalt or cement, and you're gonna get little chips and little dings and little nicks that get taken out of the iron. So if you make something exactly 16 pounds, when you use it and abuse it, like a shot put gets used and abused, what's gonna happen is it's gonna weigh less than 16. It might be 15.98, and then you bring it to a track meet and they weigh it, and all of a sudden you can't use it anymore. All right, so let's take a quick look. Um, put this on the scale. Again, this scale is calibrated. It has a one kilogram weight that weighs exactly one kilogram. The two kilogram weight was exactly two kilograms and then both of them together exactly three kilograms. So this weight is right on the money, perfect and everything should be good to go. So let's do this. Let's take the ball, put it on here, make sure it stops, it's not rolling around or anything. Ah, crap, okay. So we are at 16.00 LBs, 16.00 pounds right on the money. Let me just take it off, put it right back on. Yeah, 16.00. Now for me, there you go, 16.00. For me, that is, in fact, I just moved it, and it's at, is this thing shaking? Oof. Wow. Let me try this again. Hang on. This scale is so sensitive. Yeah, 16.00. I think when I moved it, I accidentally hit the scale, and it went down to 15.95, but exactly 16.00. It's a little too close, to, too close for comfort for me. I would like it to be a little bit heavier, even like 16.02, 16.03, I would be completely okay with. 16.00, if it does get thrown, if the paint chips off, if it gets nicked or gets dinged or just over usage, it gets, because it is, remember, it's iron underneath here. The paint chips off, it gets a little rusty, you brush all the rust off and it gets more rusty and you use it for a year or two, all of a sudden, it's not gonna weigh 16 pounds anymore. It's gonna be 15.99, 15.98. And then it's not gonna weigh in when you go to a track meet. So that's the thing that you really have to watch out for is to make sure that these aren't super exact and this one is. Now, does that mean every single one that they make is going to be exactly 16.00? No, I'm sure there's gonna be a little bit of a difference. Some of them might be a little bit heavy. I don't think any of them would be under, but 16.02, 16.03, really up to about 16.05, 16.06. That's where you want something like this that's machined and precise. That's where you want it to be. Not 16 pounds right on the dot. Again, it's 47 bucks. So you can say, hey, if it lasts you a year or two and it still weighs 16 pounds and it's still weighing in when you go to a track meet and it only costs you 47 bucks with free shipping, yeah, it's not really a huge deal. It's not like it was a $200 or $230 stainless steel that all of a sudden now is too light and you're out 230 bucks. For 47 bucks or 49 bucks or whatever this was, really not that big of an issue. All right, so there you have it. We, uh, man, this was, this was a really shocking one. This was really surprising. Hopefully, 
Crown Sporting Goods on Amazon does not find out about this, that they could be charging double what they charge here and still probably sell just as many as they normally would. Um, it's advertised as cast iron, but it's actually turned iron. Um, it is oh, 128 millimeter. It is perfectly round. It does not smell like gross, you know, cheap spray paint. And it weighs 16.00 pounds. So that is pretty darn good. That, if it was based on, you know, out of 10, this would get a 9.5. The only thing keeping it from being a 10 is that it's exactly 16 pounds and it should be a little bit higher. If you have the capability, if you have the tools and the knowledge, you can open up this with a spanner wrench, they call it. You can crack this open and if you want to put a few pellets, a few BBs, a few little like, you know, like a pebble or a rock in there, there's probably room. So you can do that and it would get it to like 16.05 and you'd be good. Oh, I forgot the shake test. Yeah, silent. There's nothing in there rattling around. There's nothing in there moving around, jingling around in there. Um, so it's good. I mean, it's really, really good. 9.5 out of 10. Fantastic price if you get it on Amazon. It arrived in like two or three days. 16.00, turned iron, and it's the biggest ball that you can get that legally it's under 130 millimeter, so it's 128. It's the biggest 16 pound ball you can get that is not $150 and above. 47 bucks, it's a really good deal. You can't beat it. Also, somebody asked in the last video, I will put a link if you wanna buy this on Amazon. I will pin it in the first comment. You can go there, click and buy. It does help out the channel. If you buy one of these shots, I'll probably get like 25 cents. I'm not gonna get really anything for it, but anything that you guys buy, I do recycle that and I buy, I'll be buying more equipment to review from Amazon. So click the link down below if you wanna get one of these. It's the first comment. I will pin it down below. Click the link, buy one of these. Really, really good deal. Really awesome shot for the price. Um, 47 bucks in free shipping for a turned iron 128. How can you go wrong?